Okay, so today is August 2nd. Um, I'm going to look at harvesting these two potatoes. Both of these are russets. They are the last two russets that I have. Um, I still have five reds and four yellows that I plan on doing over the next few days. But I'm going to do these two russets today. I uh, figured I would show how they still look with what's left of their green. And here I'll pause it and get prepared for dumping them. Okay, so as you can see, I've, I've dumped it over. We'll see about what I can find here. Really, really wet. Had some rain last night. Honestly, not expecting a lot out of this, but hopefully I'll get a little bit of something. Wow, it's really wet. Oh, and I did already get one small one. Yeah, I, I can see another one right yep, there. There's one there and there's one there. Quite a couple got on a couple there. of small ones there. Looks like you found five so far. Yeah, and I kind of got a feeling that that's probably about it. But I'm gonna oh, there's one. But yeah, like I said, I'm really not expecting much out of this bucket. That these russets, the ones that I've already harvested, didn't really grow very well to begin with. And this one really wasn't looking too promising right from the start. So just go ahead and keep rolling. I'll just go ahead and grab the other one and just dump it right away. Okay. It's, it's been a while since you recorded yourself uh, dumping it. Oh. Hello? How's it? Yeah. Well, all, the, all the times I've recorded you. See, now... Actually, this is good that I did that we did record this one. This one, for anybody that's watched some of my older videos, this has a larger hole. I've got uh, one or two other ones that uh, this was uh, when I first was working with uh, doing some experimenting with bottom watering. That uh, um, so this one I won't be able to just dump the stuff right straight in that bucket without it just going right through. That's why you'll see here that I got a bunch of paper here that uh, um, I lined the bottom with some uh, fast food restaurant napkins to cut down on the fact of, oh, oh look at that to cut down on the fact of uh, having much of the soil go right through. Oh, that is probably the biggest oh. russet that I've gotten. That is probably my biggest russet that I've gotten. Yeah. Takes up most of my hand. I see another one right there. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. 
Apparently when you handed me one, an ant got on me. Oh no! I think it's gone now. I, I'm fine with ants on me, just, I don't like the feeling of them like, crawling. Well, and most ants are fine, but uh... Fire ants are mean. Okay, that's a rock there. Most ants are fine, but uh... The, the larger ants kind of freak ants. kind of freak me out because uh i've been bit by ants and it does not feel good oh yeah that's right that, that was one of your old stories uh, but you, you saying you're afraid of the soldier ants well i honestly don't know what kind of ants they were there's a lot of different kinds of ants but, so, soldier ants are bigger than regular ones but uh yeah some of them some, some ants can get pretty nasty. Okay, so I don't see any more right on the outside, so we'll check this out. Or try it anyway. Oh, that's actually that fat. Grass weed of some kind that I tried to pull out before, but I was afraid I was going to mess up my potato bucket. A couple of small ones there. So that's not potato, that's just weed. Why are you growing weed? Not the good kind of weed. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, there's a little one under this bit. Yep. Yeah. You can also do it with your bare hands, it's fine. Oh. It's a dolly. It kind of looks like a peanut. Like a, a oh, a peanut? Uh huh, like a yeah. giant peanut. Got anything else in here besides roots? Oh, there's the the remains of the original potato. Mm-hmm. You see potato. Oh, little little, little Oh one there. that's weird. It's a duck. I'm not gonna worry about that little Molly. Uh the rest of this is just roots and soil. I can see another one right here. I got a lot of ants in this bucket. Oh, there's yeah. one on my arm. Oh, yeah. You made a buddy. That, I don't know if it would actually show up on the camera, but there's a lot of ants in here. Yeah, you, you can kind of see them moving around. Yeah, you have to look like really close. And uh, quite a few of them with wings that they apparently were looking oh. at uh, going for recolonizing something somewhere. It's just roots there. Oh yeah, uh, I, I can kind of see the wings. They're, they're shiny. Yep. Yes, you know, even though it was really wet on the top and the bottom, this is actually pretty dry in the middle here. Really? Oh, yeah, it is. Touch. Yeah. Oh, was that another one? Oh, that's... That's a rotten one. Some more of it. Yeah, with the, uh, with the russets, 
the ones that I planted for my seed potatoes were actually quite large. So I think that's it. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh just a dirt pump. I felt a lump that I thought might have been another small potato, but no, it was just a dirt clump. Okay, so apparently that's it as far as these russets. So if you want to show the little pile here. Yeah, all right. Nothing to brag about. That's what I got from, yeah, but from two buckets. They're, they're still quite nice. Well, yeah, and like I said before, you know, the, the, uh, the potatoes... The, the russets that I planted were ones that we had forgotten about, that they were on the verge of we would have otherwise thrown them away. So, hey, it's not much, but... It's still pretty good. And, and free. Yeah. So, uh, I guess that'll do it as far as this video. And uh, I'll have to look at grabbing another bucket to be able to put this inside of yeah show the camera over there and you can see how I've got uh, one single one that's doubled up over there yeah you, uh, uh, you can see them it's that's, like that's because taller. that's because that one is like this as well that's that one is like this as well so I put it inside of another bucket so that I could put the soil and stuff in it and not just have it get wasted all over the ground yeah. So that's it as far as that's the last of my russets. So I'll I'll take them in and add them to my russets that I've already collected and got your little in the pile. House and, what? Your little pile. Yeah. And then uh, I'll uh, I'll look at getting a weight on uh, what I have all together as far as my russets. I still have five reds and four yellows left to harvest i'm debating on if i might look at doing a couple more buckets today after this video but i don't know and our sunflowers are doing pretty good yeah not too bad the and, pollinators really like them and whatever whatever happened with how you know the ones that i was doing last year got stolen by squirrels I actually caught the squirrels coming at them and ripping them apart. Yeah, but I, I still think it was kind of weird how they how they died like a couple weeks after stealing them. Well, that's what I was starting to say that. Uh, and I, I did the research; they don't die to the seeds. That I think I think somebody in the neighborhood um, intentionally was poisoning the squirrels because we still have some squirrels around, but we don't have nothing compared to what we've had in the past. Yeah. And, yeah, we, uh, we had a bunch of squirrels. And uh, my sunflowers this year are already at the point where a year ago they would have been Snatched. annihilated by the squirrels. Yeah. It's also irritating how they how they left the, the petals and everything everywhere. So, anyway, so I guess we'll cut this video and... Uh, Anybody that watches, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you have a good day.